Pacers at Knicks game seven. This was a hell of a game, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is why everybody loves game seven. Um, I'm not, it didn't go the way I expected it, though. I thought the Knicks were gonna come out, you know, give it everything. But at the same time, I forgot that damn near the whole roster is hurt. And at the end of the game, bro, basically the entire, the, all the starters were hurt. But the Pacers, man, uh, they, man, they whooped their ass in the first half, bro. And I was kind of hopeful Ananobi could be back, but you could tell right away that he really, he was really forcing himself to be out there, bro. He was not moving the same. He had some tough shots in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, this one right here. And after that point, bro, he got out the game and he never came back. Cause you could you could tell like he's kind of hobbling still. Um, but Allen Burton, bro, he came out on fire. I think it was due to some some people in the front row. They got him, <laughs> hey, bro. If anybody was to blame the Knicks, bro, you need to blame the front row right here. Watch, he'll probably pop up right now. But they got him going, bro. I think he had like nine, nine or he had three threes, bro. He, I think he had fourteen in the first half in the first quarter. And that's he ends up with 14 for the whole game. So for him to have it in the first quarter, bro, that was huge. Hart got hurt uh, last game, so he's like forcing himself to be out there as well. Is this where he starts to heat up? Yeah, it might be here, bro. Yeah, right here. The people right there, y'all didn't blame them, bro. That motherfucker got him hot. Neither team has turned the ball over yet. Halliburton stops, shoots, and scores. There's the aggressiveness you guys talked about. Top it off to the races. Sticks get back. Cross court to Shepard. Halliburton takes yeah, side step. Hot. Three pointers off. If he gets hot, I'm telling you, if he's aggressive, they, they have a good chance of winning the game, bro. He needs to be aggressive. He has some plays earlier where he was like passing that shit up. When he had like good looks, bro. You can't be doing that shit, bro. Halliburton again has come alive. Between. Yeah, I was surprised, bro. They scored 40 in the three. first quarter. 40. Oh, God damn. And I thought it was going to cool down. You know, I thought they were going to start missing shots because ain't no way they're going to be shooting like that the whole game. But, bro, they, they pretty much, they slowed down a little, bro. They didn't slow down a lot. When the team shooting that good, they got a little bit of Burks had a good game, bro. He had a big spark. They needed to burn. Uh, Brunson didn't have a good uh, first half, and then he ended up getting hurt in the second. Even Chanto stepped a big time, heart hurt. Uh, McBride, I think he had a pretty decent game, but I think it really just came down to them being hurt. That's a tough layup. I didn't see that shit. That's a tough layup, bro. McBride down the lane, goes inside, blocked by Turner. Nimhard gets into the paint, pass deflected. But now they did, um, they did come back a little, bro. I think they got it within ten points at some point, and I was like, oh shit, like, I wasn't expecting that to. You know, but uh, gets inside, kicks yeah, it, out it just Alec it didn't take the foot off the gas, bro. Pacers. Boy, Alec Burks has been spectacular. With three and a half to go in the second. Pass inside, Turner. That should have been the foul, but second effort is good. Uh, I guess we'll take that one, bro. Eight on the twenty-four. Halliburton on the bounce. Inside two pointer shots good. <laughs> I'm from telling you, it's these motherfuckers y'all need to blame, bro. They got him. They got him going. It kind of reminds me of that game with D Wade and some guy wearing like a fucking purple shirt and a bandana, bro. And it kind of reminded me of too Reggie Miller's game where he kept talking about uh, shit to Spike Lee. Of course, it's not to the same magnitude, you know, but it was like, bro, he was going off and it was. I'm assuming mostly just because of the, the people he was talking shit to with the fans. Chance for a three-point play for Brunson. Brunson looks to bring it up. Brunson on the drive, sneaks inside, layup, block. Siakam with the block. And Shepard doesn't get it off in time. Pascal Siakam, terrific defensive play. McBride, change direction, layup, he banks it in. Timeout, Indiana. 
Yeah, I think this is the point where they where they got the game into like. Vincenzo fires a three. It's good. Oh, I thought it was like ten points. No, we got it to eight. Siakam on the drive. Halliburton lines up three pointer. Got it. Tyrese Halliburton with his Yeah, but I mean, this was, bro, this is why we love game seven. Dimincenzo and Halliburton going at it. Um, honestly, Siak, I feel like Siakam should have been hella more aggressive in this game, bro. Because, and the Novi went out the game. Hart is hurt. So, those are the primary defenders that you have. And Hart's hurt, you know what I mean? So, you should be, you should be attacking whoever's on you. kicks it out. Halliburton back up top. Turner gets a clean look for three. Got it. Miles Turner from downtown. 10 of 16 from three point range for these Pacers. And McConnell, bro. People just keep on McConnell. I said this shit before. Well, yeah, the first video I did of this, that McConnell's a bucket, bro. I don't think he gets talked about enough, but I'm telling you, bro. He's a. He's like, he's like a Pat Bev, but better, like a, like a better scorer, bro. He's gonna hound you on defense. He's gonna play 100% the entire game. And he's gonna hit shots, bro. That's the thing that Pat Bev doesn't do is hit shots, but McConnell's a bucket, bro. You can't. You can't just. Pacers winning the rebounding Sleep numbers again. Halliburton connects on a three. Tyrese Halliburton now 20. One of the best catch and shoot three point guys in the entire NBA this season. Third in the NBA in three pointers behind Curry and Doncic, but D. Smith answers down the other end. Coming up on a minute left here in the third. McConnell finds some room. Jump bucket, shot, bro. it's good. Eight away from the Brian side. That's a tough bucket. I can't tell you how difficult that is at 10 points. I didn't see assists in 16 minutes. But yeah, I'm telling you, Burke had a good game too, bro. Even Chenzo throws it ahead to Burks. Alec Burks, the hesitation. Which is kind of lost it. Yeah, picked like, up by I wouldn't expect that because he didn't Shepard play much. Jackson, he hasn't been playing Jackson much, picks, right? Drives, and then, he, I mean, but it is game seven. He stepped up. Turn around on those two plays. Knicks had a fast break opportunity. Divincenzo yeah, Divincenzo put it hard up there. Dante Divincenzo doing his best to keep the Knicks in the game. What a, what a gift it is to get this guy. I think at this point, Brunson is when he got clock, hurt. He can create his own I think shot. it was. Divincenzo what was his injury? Yeah. Uh, I think it was a fractured left hand. Bro, so. Mike just got this update from the Knicks. Oh, it's right here. It's not good for Jalen Brunson. A fractured left hand. Yeah. He's done for the day. It's tough, bro. Hate to see it. Hard to tell if the crowd knows or one of the teammates is team, down the three. Is that dude? Know, that's the dude. Because of all the minutes Any they've been team, playing. Really, particularly a team as good as Maybe. the Knicks. It at could this be, bro. Stage in the season, having to deal with this. Knicks out on the floor, still fighting. Burks lines up a three. That's good. Rattles it in. Alec Burks had one of the best games of his career. You look at these Pacers as Halliburton drives, finds Turner. Turner but it's like you kind of have to play him after getting absolutely because the Knicks, I don't think the Knicks have that much stuff on the roster, bro. McBride is good. Burks has been going off too, but they got him in late, you know, so if they would have gotten earlier, maybe that could have saved some minutes for the other players. Nobody was hurt. Mitchell was hurt. Like who else did they really have? This is really a neat moment here. Here the team on the verge of being eliminated. But these fans have fallen in love with this team and with Josh Hart. He's only been a Nick for a little over a year, acquired last year at the trade deadline. For real? And he's one Damn. of those players. Where it feels like he's been there for team. a while. It feels like if you're in New York that he's been a member of the Knicks for 10 years. That's yeah. how much he's been. It feels like he's been there for a while, bro. I didn't know he was only there for like a year. And the Pacers will set a record for the best shooting performance in NBA yeah, playoff bro. history. I told you, I thought they were going to slow down. They little, little, they still yeah, a little bit, bro. They still kept the on the gas. Finals, Let me see the stats, decade. actually. They shot 67% from the field. I didn't know it was like that, bro. 54% from three. Damn. Siakam, 20. Neesmith, 20. Turner, 17. Them hard 20. Halliburton, 26. McConnell, 12. Bro, they they everybody played their roles. They all stepped up. And OB five points in five minutes, bro. But he I told you he was hurt. Hartenstein, zero points. Eight rebounds, 30 minutes. Nah, bro. We, they, needed, they needed him to get at least a few buckets. 
Brunson got hurt, 17 points. Josh Hart, 10 points. He was hurt. DiVincenzo, 40 points, bro. He was really, you know, he like I said, he played his heart out. The rest of the bench. Burks had 26. Damn, I know he had a good game. I didn't know he had 26, though. And then McBride, 8. Yeah, like I said, I think it just came down uh, to injuries for the Knicks. Um, but, I mean, shout out to the Pacers, bro. They Everybody stepped up, bro. They had a historic game. Um, they're going to face the Celtics. And let me let me think about that real quick. They have Drew Holiday. They have Derek White to uh, switch on Halliburton. And Halliburton is not really much of a, of a scoring threat. Like, this game, he got hot. But, like, is he going to do that regularly? I don't think so. Uh, then Tatum, or who the hell's gonna guard Tatum? Who the hell's gonna guard uh, JB? I'm gonna win my prediction right now. I think the Celtics are gonna win it. I'm saying six, but all my predictions have been wrong, so you know what I mean. But we'll see. Game seven of the game that I really wanted to watch is the Nuggets versus the Timberwolves. Is about to start an hour, so I'll see you guys then. But that's gonna do it for this one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.